Hello everyone, welcome back to the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Last time we left off, uh, we were told to set the, the time to our favorite time, so let's set it to, to 420. Cause, haha, -ha, that's funny joke time. Boom. Ah, 420 AM, your favorite time of the day. Yeah. Or could you simply not resist giving me the correct time again? I did not this time. I have all the other times, though. After all, I know how much you enjoy setting the time correctly. Okay, now I'm curious how accurate 4.20 a.m. is. Let's use another slider to find out. How accurate is 4.20 a.m.? I'm glad I started recording prior to everything this time, because I expected you to pull some weird shit like this. Um, how accurate is 4.20 a.m.? Um, it's pretty inaccurate. I'm about 2 hours and 20 minutes off. You know, can I say, regardless of the accuracy of the clock, I'm having a great time adjusting these settings. I feel like I'm learning more about you and how you like things to be set. I'm, it's good to collect data. I wish we had more sliders, but we've gone through all the sliders I have. Hmm, perhaps I can invent some new sliders to gather new data on you. Should it be too hard? Yeah, let me whip a couple new ones up. Should be ready the next time you boot up the game. Okay, cool. This is very, very good for someone that plays in short bursts like me because I'm recording videos because we get to see all of that. Alright, what are we going to do today? So, something this is a story. someone told me is, um, which I was kind of expecting this was uh, the case. Uh, I had my controller in my hand from when I was playing my last game. Oh no, the mouse is doing the thing again. Okay, there we go, it's gone. Uh, some, something someone told me is, uh, uh, I kind of expected this, but All yes, if you pick up the bucket, you it basically turns the game into a different state, he had a and memory. you get bucket-specific endings, basically. So, uh, this time, how about I just don't pick up the bucket? Maybe we'll pick it up next time. Sorry, bucket. I'll see you later. So, yeah. That's the case there. So, Stanley came to a set of I do want to go here, the correct way to the meeting room, and, and then this well. way. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yep, we're gonna go right through the employee yeah, lounge. Yes. Screw Truly you, employee lounge. Admired, but eager to get back so to someone business, said it was, Stanley you got bucket specific endings left. depending on what you did. So and I'm so gonna try and go down here, section, walk straight ahead without to the, the, butt, the bucket, or whatever. So we'll see what happens if I do this with Sans Bucket. Because last time you tried to get me to destroy to the, the bucket. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. Okay, so cool. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um, uh, uh, da, 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 da. from here it's, um, left. Okay, won't let me go, won't let me go right. Okay, unfortunate, but yeah, this is totally oh, different. No. No, it's to the right, my mistake. Okay, screw you. No, 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 not the right. Why would Here? I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? I don't know. It's clearly... Oh, dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? <sighs> now, let's see. We went down right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yep, okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. Into the truck with headlights? Also, you saying left, right, left, right, down, god, flashbacks to Tunic. Flashbacks to Tunic. Is this gonna run me over? Run me over! I dare you! Why is it on? Like, why are the lights actually on? That's weird, right? Weird. Very, very weird. Uh. No, 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 this isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, is Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to get back well, to him. fired. Um, who am I kidding? Where am I? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay, from the top. Or employee 104. Okay, so that was a separate ending. Cool. All of I'll get back to uh, another mean? break in the story, Stanley I guess. decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley, wait. Wait what? Wait what? Huh? No, 
No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over, completely fresh. Okay, that's different. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere, or... Uh... Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. Well, I can't go that way. Okay, let's go this way. So is this just a loop? Oh, God. Oh, gods. Oh, I am so confused already. Okay, wait, is this back where I started? Oh, fuck me. Okay. 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 We're just in a maze now. I the the hallways are repeating. They're just they're just brown smudges. I don't know where I'm going. This door is open. Maybe maybe I go into the open door. Um, how long are you I'll gonna let it. me? Okay. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you, there definitely was a story here before. Do we just do we need to restart the game again? Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again. But it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? Wow, okay, you're, you're, you're really restarting me again. Okay. All these co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Shut up! Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Are things gonna be good this time? Are we good, or am I back into... Okay, I think this is borked again. Okay, yep, yep. it's worse. Mm -hmm. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything. <sighs> okay, you're the boss, apparently. Let's fucking go. Alright, missed a cup. Oh, wow, spill. We didn't clean that up. Yep, computer. Okay, I don't think there's anything in here to really interact with of uh, importance. Aha! I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. No, wait, never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. Why don't you? Damn it. Why are you making me do all the legwork? Oh, gods. What am I? No, I'm not going in the Silent Hill land, please. Why is this... it? Well, I'll be honest. I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I don't know. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It... Is that correct? Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Congratulations! Yay! I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off, so good job. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Fuck you! Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay, I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time, I have to restart. This is not going to go well. We're going to eventually end up in a void. The Adventure Line. This is a Stanley Parable 2 version, though. All right, I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just follow the line. How simple is that? Did you seriously trademark the line? Follow the yellow brick line. Uh, what if I don't follow it? What if I instead... Go this way. And get lost again. Will you get mad at me? No, no, I'm done. We're leaving it up to the line from now on. Okay, okay, you, you, we just get some, we just get a little bit of tape, but what if I walk in again? Okay, you don't care. You don't care. You won't even throw a, you won't even throw a petty insult at me. I was at least hoping for something like that. But fine, fine, be that way. I'm gonna turn this computer off again. Just cuz. Oh yeah, hey, this is the solitaire room. Yeah, I, I, we've never been able to get in here before. Cool. I like how we're still continuing with the Stanley Parable 2 you thing. See, the line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Wow. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Jeez, really bright outside Here's today. Thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, 
are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. No. Now, we can both agree that the nature of existence is, in fact, a byproduct of one subjective experience of that existence, right? I guess. Okay. Now, if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. Hit me with the OST. Okay, okay, it's this garbage again. Ba, 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 ba. I feel like my character should be bobbing their head like in Minecraft if you had a head bobbing on. Or in like marching, basically. Okay, why? Okay. Uh huh. Cool. Question mark made out of question marks. God, this music is very loud. Maybe I should turn it down a little bit. There we go. There we go. Much better. Uh, nothing really over there. Payday? That is a payday mask. Okay, cool. Never really been into Payday, but neat, I suppose. I wonder how many Easter eggs to other little indie games there, there are in this, because I've seen It'll Do, Payday, uh, we've seen Firewatch, and a few other things. There's probably shit all over the place, isn't there? Well, I gotta follow the line com- Excuse the hell out of me? What? Huh? Are they all a portal to an- No, it's just this one. Just this one's a portal to a different dimension. What the hell? Okay, well, let's go the weird way. Let's go the weird-ass way. Employee 432 peer reviews. Wow, that's a lot of peer reviews. Uh... Oh my god. Okay. Uh... Brain hurdy. Okay, so that's like a just a weird... I don't know. Pocket in space. We're gonna go over this way. I think this is the better Cut call. The music. Uh huh. Go back and look at that fern. What? What fern? Stanley, what? this fern will be very important later in the story. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. Okay, it has approximately 452 leaves. Um, there appears to be other types of things in there with the fern. We got a nice little moss bed here. It's not planted directly into dirt. It does have some vegetation growing on the bottom there. It is rectangular in shape. Uh-huh. Very 90 degree angle here. No curves on this bad boy. Um, it's not really getting a lot of light here because I noticed the blinds and everything. Okay, I don't probably need to absorb that much information, but... Yeah, it's not really getting a lot of light. Gotta give your fern some light. Who's watering it? Everybody's Wait, gone. What? We're back at the office? No. Oh, no. No, no. Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? Okay. So this is... Okay, well, what happens if I just go back to the main room and just... Go back to my computer? Huh. What, 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 what about that? If I just, like... Nope. Okay. I just wanted to see if anything interesting would happen if I just chose the give up option. But nothing happens. So, okay, now we're going through this door I've never been able to go through before. So is this adventure line different than the Stanley Parable 1 adventure line? How did I somehow wander into ultra deluxe content, I'm assuming? Uh, or did they just, for this version of the game, update the adventure line to say the Stanley Parable 2 adventure line? But this is the same content from the first one. I, I don't know, man. I don't know. Shit's weird. Oh. Oh, no, no, yeah. no, no, not again. Like, uh -huh. how could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you... Oh, I can't take this anymore to hell with it. Restart. No. The Stanley Parable adventure line. Okay, so now we're back to Stanley Parable 1. Okay. 
You know what, Stanley? What? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. All this all sounds perfectly doable. And Stanley lived under a desk. Start wandering in. Well, I don't know. How about this direction? No, I want to live under a desk. Where's the desk ending? Okay, fine. Alright, what's over here? What you got for me? Now, yes, this is exciting. Just me Thrilling. and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. Erotic. I want it to be an erotic story. And I will not expand on this whatsoever. Use your imagination. Alright, so, uh... Oh, no, not you again. Stanley, oh, God. I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it. We should be fine. Who the hell's writing the line? The alien from... Alien? A xenomorph, rather, would be the correct term. Well, I gotta follow the line. It's the only option. I mean, I can't walk on the ceiling, but uh, I wish I could. When's Stanley gonna get Spider-Man powers? I want Spider-Man powers. Yeah, like seriously, did the alien make that? Did they just tape it to the alien from Alien Isolation and just let it go wild? What, the pa like ah, the paint roller? A choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay, so I know that each door has to lead somewhere, which means that somewhere at the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that in turn means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. Mm -hmm. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. Wow, you're not even going to open the other one for me? Why are you the only one that can open shit? Oh god, the confusion ending. You've been playing the confusion ending for 18 minutes. We deviate from the maintenance room, oh, end up this? in... Oh. oh my god. Hmm. The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game eight, eight times? That's really how all this goes? It's all determined? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this, this thing, wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really... No, it can't be. I, d I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. And the timer d stopped? Does that uh -oh. mean... Um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So, okay. I guess now we just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime, if you... Oh, okay, that was a noise. Okay, so we're eventually going to end up in black space from Omori. Cool. Cool. Do I have to collect the keys too? All of his co-workers were gone. What could, what it, could it mean? mean? Stanley decided to go, go to the, to the meeting, meeting room. room. Perhaps, Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Missed a memo. Ugh. You bastard. When Stanley came, came to a set of two, two doors, doors, he entered the he door, entered on, the door on the left. 
I'm not doing this perfectly, by the way. So if it's uh, if it's not uh, if it's not right, then yeah, that would be the that would be the reason. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. So we're still in the confusion ending, by the way. I'm pretty sure. No matter what I do, we're stuck in that shit. So I think this is lying to me. Wow. Yes. This room. What a beautiful room. What a gorgeous, gorgeous room. Thank goodness Stanley had taken this detour on his Okay, I haven't heard that dialogue in a bit. To business, so Stanley I thought it was new. The first open door on his left. Mhm. Mm and so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. I actually didn't pay attention to the schedule. Was I supposed to do something very specific? I might have been supposed to do something very specific. I wasn't paying that much attention to the schedule. I just looked at a few things. So maybe I was actually supposed to follow a very important set of directions, otherwise I get off of the confusion ending. Let's just go down here, why don't we? See what happens if we just go down here again. If anything, it'll put me back on the confusion but Stanley didn't thing, want to go back to the office. and uh, we can do that again. About and get even okay, inner guilt. Everyone knows what you did. They're just holding back to let you torture yourself. Um, I'm, I'm basically redoing the confusion ending to get back to the schedule. Um, and I'll say, this is the worst yeah. adventure I've ever been. All right, here we are. We're back. What's this? Hmm. I'm just gonna study this. Hmm. The confusion the narrator forgets about previous restarts. That's what this okay. Is. Stanley attempts to play the story, ending. but is prevented. Unable to Am go I anywhere or do anything. Eight, eight times? Wait, really? That's well, really that how all this goes? It's all determined? You so didn't now, restart the game, the schedule, though. I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I hmm. don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this. Yeah, this I don't know thing. what I'm supposed to do here. Am I supposed to restart to make well, it work? Who consulted me? Only attempts to play the story is rented. I'm able to go anywhere. Why don't I get again, a following the line. Is it really? No, it can't be. I, I don't want. It, it says be. you restart the game, but you don't. I, I don't want. You know. Okay, I, I think I'm supposed way, to go the main path, kind of story, like follow everywhere the narrator tells me to go. I think that's what's supposed to happen next. Okay, the game is restarted, and I'm just going to follow the critical path this time All of his co were to see what happens. What mean? Because I think Stanley that's what I was to intended to, to do meeting. last time, Perhaps but I didn't. Simply... Uh huh. In here, stuff Stanley happens. The manager's office. Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held for Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he mm -hmm. didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. Damn right. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy. So he relaxed for a few moments with some calming new age music. Screw you! No! <laughs> I knew the- I remembered it just off the top of my head. I'm like, it's 2845. And now you're hitting me with this shit. No! I protest! Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Cool, thank you. So I'm doing the story, but at some point it's not gonna let me, right? <gasps> you found one of them. One of the miniature Stanley figurines. Remember, no reward for collecting all of these, only the intrinsic pleasure of a job well done. Well, you hell can't yeah! Buy that sort of happiness, Stanley. God knows I've tried. So. I implore you to savor each and every moment you come across one of these beautiful figurines. I will. I shall. Okay, cool. We found one. It wasn't even really hidden. It was just there. All right, down the elevator. Let's go. Yep, yep, yep. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Let's see what we got. It said it's going to stop me at some point. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Yeah, so I've done this part of the game before. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Okay, yeah, last time I did escape. Okay, let's go here then. I've never actually done this at all. 
Yeah. Do I press? The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Well, I already know because I've been spoiled on this. Because you didn't lead me the correct way. Or I disobeyed you, I don't remember which. Uh huh. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Okay, what does this one do? This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? Yep. That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? It is me. I am controlling no. you. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Damn right we will. What does this do? Console disabled. They're all disabled though. Okay, one, two. I doubt I just do these in order, but I'm gonna do that anyway. There's something up there maybe? Uh, this was three. I pressed it, cool. That was five. I don't know where four is. Is this even a thing? I don't know. What's up there? There's four. What, okay, what if, what if I do one, two, three, four? What if I just do one, two, three, four? Two, three over there, and then four is up there, and then five. It might be in like an actual code I have to put into, uh, I have to put in. Okay, weird, that one didn't like press in all the way. Oh, I can't go up there anyway. Okay, what's happening here? Okay, wait, I get a... Okay, I get a good... I get a good sound effect from two. So is there a weird order I have to press these in? Maybe. So what happens if I do... Okay, three was good. Now maybe I do like... This one now, one. So it's two, three... Okay, that was a bad. Yeah. Wait, what is... What is happening? Okay, I'm, I'm even more confused now. I, I don't know what's happening here. I may just, I may just quit this line of thinking. In a second. So that... That sounds like a positive sound, but maybe it's just going lower in tone? Yeah, it seems like that might be what it's doing. It's just getting lower in tone each time. I don't think there is actually a correct order to this. Yeah, okay. Screw this. Screw this. Nope, we're done. We're done. I'm out. I'm out. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's just go in here to facility power. Why don't we? I tried to do something. Okay, so this is where we, where we get rid of the power. Mind control, something, something. Other things up when there. At last, he found the source of the room's power. He knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Oh. I did it. I could progress the story though, so... I don't know if this is still on the confusion ending or if I've just looped back around. I don't even know if you can continue the And ending. a rising chill of uncertainty. 
Was it over? Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him, for it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. The freedom ending. Finally. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation. The immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Good for Stanley. I'm happy. Alright, cool. That's another ending, I believe. So yeah, I don't know if you can continue the confusion ending or not. Maybe you have to do something hyper special that I just didn't do. Uh, I don't really know. But, uh, yeah. All of his co-workers were gone. What so, I'll find something new, I Stanley guess. Stanley decided to go to the Whoa. meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Figurine Finders Committee meeting today in the meeting room. Okay, wait, maybe I do actually want to go to the meeting room. Does that mean there's a figurine in there? Or tips to find the figurines? I'm guessing tips to find the figurines, yeah? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, uh -huh. he entered the yeah. door on his left. And then he, the meeting room's right over here, right? Yes, okay, okay. Okay, there we go. How can we find them? Okay, cool. Bottom text, yeah. What is this? Figurines, where are they? Please, do not leave the office before reporting back any new findings. Teamwork and communication are of importance during this unprecedented time of investigation. Small floating objects have appeared across the office. How can you tell we spotted one that makes them float in the air? Who took these pictures of them? Yeah, I don't know. Well, this is weird. Figlies are hard to find. Follow clues provided by employee 416. We can do it. Red room? Okay. Thank you. Good luck. Thanks. Maybe we are the collectibles. Trust the completionist instinct. Um. Shut the frick up. Wouldn't you like to know? Analysis of the recordings allow me to triangulate the source of the strange noise. Uh, data shows that in all likelihood it's coming from a dark area behind a new, very warm place. I also picked up what looks to be the reverberance off a porcelain surface. Anyone have any leads? Source of levitation. Difficult. Findings. Uh-huh. Idea. Saw one in the cargo room. Okay. Do we need contracts for them? NDA. Bonus stuff. What we know, what we forgot, what we don't know yet. Can we sell them? Obviously. More money if sold together. Potential liability. How many are there? Why floating? Dreams. Magic. Our quarterly success. Magnets. Training exercise by... I don't know what that says. Artist rendering. Why do they kind of look like 427? Should we make them employees? Interns? Yes, maybe. Money. Stock options. What do they want? Someone in the cargo room. Why wouldn't they just tell us something will happen? This investigation, this room, it feels pointless to BH. We need more planks. Warehouse access plan. Produce one plank to allow ease of access past fence. Construct bridge to allow collection of shiny float. Okay. Uh, retrieve Chris's remains from warehouse floor. Construct new structurally sound bridge. Okay, so it's talking about the warehouse. We go that way. We can't have the bucket. We go down the stairs. Yeah, okay, 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 I think I get what you're putting down. Alright. 
Mission status, places to search. Okay, I should probably take a picture of these things, right? I should probably take a picture of these things. So, let me, let me take a picture of this. Is this some kind of game? There must be a point to this. Uh, yeah, okay, cool. Private but smelly place for an important person. Weird. Okay, so this one's talking about the warehouse. I'll go ahead and take a picture of that as well. Cool, cool. All right, we've got some new information here. This was a good room to find. Uh, there will be a reward for finding them all. Lies, who are you? 666, lol. There will be cleaning of this wall required. I want them so much, I want to go home. Stop kidding yourselves. Okay. Cool. The one in the broom closet? Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So he uh -huh. turned around and got coming to a staircase. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Didn't one of them say red room? Didn't one of them say red room? I, I feel like one of them did. Let's look. Let's let's have a look see. Uh uh and my pictures here. Back, please. Thank you. Large room, lots of, lots of boxes, nearby a fireplace. Uh somewhere both red and blue. Stairs, something to do with stairs. Okay, I thought I thought somewhere it was mentioned red room. It also says stairs, something to do with stairs. So let's let's go down here. Yes. Another miniature stand. Got it. Green. This um, you know, there really must be a snappier name for these things. What about mini stands, Stanley figs, or um, what about Stanlerines? Yes, I think I like that. Another Stanlerine under your belt. I hate it. I hate this term. Okay, so now we're down but here. Stanley just couldn't do it. Okay, I think this one I just need to begin the game again to go back. I don't think there's any point in continuing that one Because I think that's a dead end where I've already got the ending Stanley wondered to himself minutes days what? Centuries did something crucial happen while my senses were turned He made a note to be more careful with time from now on What the hell are you talking about? I'm so confused Okay, new meeting. I don't need to go back to the meeting because we we have the notes about figurines, so... I know how to get that one. Um, a large room, lots of boxes, stairs, something to do with stairs. That was probably that one I got. Somewhere, both the red and blue. That's the red and blue doors. A private but smelly place. Um, okay, we're, we're getting to the end of today's episode, I think. Why don't we do another the bucket ending? And the chaos all seemed to melt away as Stanley embraced the bucket. Mm-hmm. So where do I want to go? So last time I went down the thing. I think we should go to the warehouse with the bucket. All right, here we go. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift. Yes, go there. Go to the cargo lift. Is this the plank I needed? Because there was, it was, uh, this is the room with a lot of boxes, right? There's a plank to the figurine! Right there! Oh my god! There it is! Yes! Figurine get! Awesome! Boom! Got it! Kind okay, of a god at this. Back to the name of these little Stanley figurines, and now I'm torn between Stanlerines and Figlies. What do you think, Stanley? What name better encapsulates the intrinsic sense of happiness that you get from seeing a small number in the corner of your screen go up by one. Let me sit on it. I'm sure it will come to me. Okay, so now what do I do? How do I get out of here and not die? Is that a vent I can go into? Okay, this is totally new. I have not done this. Uh... Oh gods, where am I? I just found another path on accident. Where in the nine hells am I now? Hi? Hello? What is this? Oh my god, there's so many cassette tapes. Why are there so many cassette tapes? Prologue, narrator, di- Oh, they're all narr narrator dialogues! Okay. Okay, is this the smelly place related to one person? The narrator? Are they smelly? Okay. Confused. Okay. This is day number 295. Tape number... 
I don't even know. I've lost track. Nothing feels real anymore. The longer I study this bucket, the less sense anything makes. The sheer euphoria I feel every time I pick it up. Horny. No matter how many times I've done it, it's always the same feeling. And the emptiness in my chest when I set it down. It doesn't make sense. There's no explanation for it. I still haven't figured out why I see the world so differently when this bucket is in my arms. Why everything feels so... What do I do with this treasure? I can... I can monetize it. Yes. It's unthinkable the amounts of money people will pay for even just an hour with the bucket. Okay, a little creepy. This is my golden ticket. But I have to be careful. Because as soon as this gets out, there's going to be a target on my back. Even now, I don't know who might be trying to get... What's that? Who's there? Excuse me? I dislike it. I hate it. Quit it. Stop. Cease. Oof. Oof. Well, fuck that with a nail bat. Jesus. Okay, um, hmm. All of his co-workers were gone. Maybe I should do that what ending, but Stand without the bucket? To to the meeting room. Perhaps. Standing now in this incredible room, Stanley for the f but eager to get back. All right, we're here. Let's take the fall. Take the plunge. What happens this time? I have no bucket. So I won't find a weird obsessed bucket person. Stanley had now gotten himself so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun from so far off the beaten path that it seemed oh. the office had begun from so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office Okay. Had begun, so okay, this is this is my narrator. That it seemed the office had now. begun so far cool. off the beaten path. That it seemed the office had begun from so far off the beaten path. That it seemed the office had begun from so far off the beaten path. That it Stop. You didn't okay. think I was actually just a recording, did you? What a silly and trite explanation that would be. All the back and forth between you and me, all the absurd adventures we've been through, and it all turns out I'm just a tape recording? It was all just in Stanley's head. I bet that's the kind of twist you think is revelatory. I bet each and every time you watch a movie where it turns out all to be in the main character's imagination, you must absolutely bolt off the couch in pure shock at the phenomenal and intricate storytelling. It must be so simple to be you. Life being an unending waterfall of surprises and delights. How much more exciting you must find the world than the rest of us do. <sighs> Now I've become sad. Look what you've done to me. This is all your fault. Wow, victim shaming. Okay. Fuck you. Jeez, narrator. Our relationship is strained, to say the least, but... Alright, I think we're probably gonna go ahead and end this episode off here. I think I'm gonna try and record two episodes tonight, so... So I can catch up on recording a little bit, so... I hope you've enjoyed this episode of the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. And I'll see you next time.